Hello, my beautiful YouTube family. I am back again to continue this little experimentation in my quest to find a nice foundation for my face. So if that sounds interesting to you, just stay tuned. I'm going to get into it right now. Okay. In my last one, I did the Sephora recommended foundation against one against each other, which was the Fenty and the Rihanna. In this one, I am going to be doing the Ulta recommendation online where you get to go in and select what are you looking for. And I did the same thing as I did with Sephora, mature skin, dry, um, fine lines, wrinkles, that kind of stuff. So let's see what they suggested. I did it the same way. I went to a freestanding Ulta and I did the online thing. So for this one, I'm gonna do the two top recommendations that they gave for those criteria um, online. So let's see what they got. These are my order, so I can give, can I give you prices? Yes, I can give you prices. Awesome. So there we go. They suggested the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines in the shade Fair against the VDL and VO2. So I am going to try these two. I did buy three. Yes, I bought three. The other one I bought was their Dermablend. So I bought their top three recommendations. And so I'm gonna try the VDL against the IT. And let's see what happens. Again, it's the same thing. Uh, only moisturizer, no helpers, no um, primer of any sort. So let's see what we got. I'll do an eight hour wear test like I did with the others. Um, ooh, I hope I don't start breaking out. I see two starters right there and I never get acne, so. Same thing, two moist sponges, damp, not wet. I am gonna do the Bye Bye Lines on my left, your right, and I am going to do the VDL on my right, your left. I am going to, oh, it's got a pumper, sweet. So I am going to, I think, I'm guessing that's one pump. Yeah, probably. And I am gonna put that on my right side. I will do um, other makeup today because I do want to film a few videos. I am falling behind so I did use the whole pump and I'm gonna I don't know where this one is from but and I did wash it from the Sephora foundation so there is not any leftover foundation on the sponge can still see the redness around my nose. I'm actually gonna add a tiny, tiny bit more around my nose. Tiny, tiny drop. Because I don't know whether the foundation, I mean, whether the sponge ate it up or not, so. Sorry for the sniffling, I have allergies. I am going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines, the side. One full pump. I 
use the whole pump. I'm going to use my real techniques. So there we go. One pump on each side. You can still see redness coming through the side of my nose. I may do a tiny drop more like I did on the other side to be fair and to give them a good shot. Tiny, 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 tiny. still see the beginning of a pimple I believe here and here it looks like I got a I don't know I would say maybe a light medium coverage so that's what it looks like on application and I will see you guys again in eight hours Hi. Hi there. I'm back. I'm in my PJs. It is nine o'clock at night. It is my eight hour check-in for the, oh, excuse me, it cost works. Bye-bye uh, line foundation on my left and the VDL perfect lasting foundation on my right. Um, they have completely worn off around my nose. I am super shiny and greasy looking. They look okay. They may look better with a primer. Um, but I'm not loving them. I did put a full face on. I filmed a few videos earlier. It has settled into all of my wrinkles, but it's not making me look more textured. It is making me look quite dewy and dare I say oily. And I have some, I don't know, like funky stuff going on in my nose there. So I don't know how much you can see online on the camera. You can see some texture, but not horrendously. It's super greasy. And I don't know if you can see what it's done to my nose. It's totally worn off. And like I said, I haven't left the house and I haven't gone out. So I guess this would be okay. I'm not loving it. Not hating it. I don't know, sort of to be determined. The eyeliner held up right. Found it. The eyeshadow did okay too. So that's my final check-in. I don't know if I told you the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines was, where are you? $38 and the VDL was $35. So let me know what you think down below. Which side do you think like better or can you tell a difference at all? And I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I would be okay with wearing either one of them again. They probably look a lot better with a primer or something to help them underneath. But that's it for me. I'm going to bed and I will see you in my next one. I say all the time, be safe, be kind and love one another. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.